Perfect. So I just wanted to start by saying that Google Suite as a platform, um, in my opinion, is probably the easiest and most reliable tool during distance learning. Um, and in my experience, it has been that you can track the students progress, uh, their grades, you can assign stuff, um, and you can edit with them, um, all from, you know, one, one area, uh, you can increase the assistive tech literacy of your students through this platform. Uh, because most most shortcuts that work on what we're going to do today also work on like word um so if they have word and docs it's like the same thing pretty much with just one minor difference um and then there are also windows shortcuts that are going to make things much much easier um and so because we work with students that are visually impaired um i wanted to try to use um all of this stuff without a mouse um, and ideally, I would challenge every one of you to do this with me and also try to do it without a mouse. Um, whether you can or cannot right now, depending on your device, you know, um, we're going to try it. So I'm going to share my screen. Um, and this I am going to use my mouse for. Um, after that, no more. So I'm going to share computer sound. We'll start with, okay. So uh, the very first thing. Um, to know is that your Windows key is your best friend as a visually impaired person because it's going to um, enable you to do everything else. So I'm going to start with JAWS, which is the screen reader um, of my choosing for this demo. And JAWS student able... edition, meeting controls, Fatima alert, Fatima enter the waiting room. Perfect. So you should be able to hear what I hear. Alert from Amanda Flores to every. And um, I'm going to make it a little slower. 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 Okay. Escape. Alt tab, meeting control, alt tab, alt tab, JAWS updates available. Yes, but. Space, desktop, cool. folder, view, list, view. So after the screen reader is enabled, um, I'm going to use Windows key again and C then type in e Google Chrome, Enter. Chrome because that's the browser that I want to use for Address this alert. meeting. Um, I'm also a big uh, fan of alert. the Fatima. control key because when JAWS starts talking, um, alert. The more enter the waiting room. perfect. That's a great example. Um, you, you don't always want to hear all of these alert. things. The more... So the control key is going to make JAWS stop talking. Alert. Um, the more the meeting. So I'm also going to open an incognito tab control shift N. Um, using control shift and N just so that I have a fresh browser that has not been logged into. Um, and let's say that you want your student to create a document or you want your student to get into drive. Um, I like getting into drive first because it is kind of like the central hub to everything else. So um, I'm already at the address bar, but say I left the address tab, bar. Learn more link. Um, the easiest way to get back up to where you type in your URLs is Alt and D. Alt D. Address and search bar. Edit. Address and search bar. Control plus L. And then D R I. Enter. Address and search bar. Drive.google.com. Drive.google.com. Okay. Go to drive link. So on a brand new computer with a browser that has never been logged into, um, and this is typical of students that just received their technology and had it set up. Uh, this is the page that will show up the first time. So I like to do tab, tab. tab region, navigation door dialog, tab, icon drive link graphic, Google, tab, jump to content, same page link. So in this case, it was three times until I heard jump to content, and then I enter, enter. cloud storage for work and home, Google Drive, cloud storage for work and home, Google Drive. And then I tab one more time after I hear all of that. Alert, Susan Smith enters the waiting room, main region. Go to drive. So this is going to be enter. Google Drive, sign in Google Chrome. How the sign student in to signs in to Google Chrome. Um, one thing to note is you you will always know that you're in an edit field if you hear this like little boop noise. Shift tab, address so, and search tab, email or phone edit tab. Okay, didn't do it this time. Menu, manage, shift tab, address and search bar edit, control list end, list end. Okay, let's try that. Wrapping to top, email or phone edit tab, wrapping to top, email or enter, email or phone edit tab, pop up. Um, I also use the E key um, because the E key will take you to any edit field, um, but we can talk about that later. So for this example, I'll just use, um, enter, leaving menu. This old email. Enter. Tab for tab, tab, net tab, create, create, shift, enter, next button. Google Drive, sign in Google Chrome, terms and conditions link. Oh boy, let's see if I remember this. M A V E N N tab, alert, M star, enter. Okay. HTTPS slash slash login dot dot slash alert. Susan Smith has joined the meeting. Google Drive, Google Chrome. My Drive, Google Drive. Okay, perfect. How 63 element back So the drive is essentially where you can have a student create something or search for something that either has been shared with them or that they have created. Um, and I really like to Kyle, 60, use C, out of table. Context this C menu. button um, because that'll open up this menu on the side here that has folder, file upload, um, folder upload, and all of your Google. Folder, Google, Google, Google. 
docs sub stuff. Um, so that's stocks, sheets, slides, uh, forms, etc. Um, and so for this exercise, I guess we can just do a Google Doc. Enter, menu loading, menu, menu loading, at top, enter. And so for that, I just, um, like I said, use the C button. That opened up the, the new menu, and then I just navigated menus. To enable with my arrow keys all the way to Google Docs, and I hit enter, enter two times, um, because the first one activates Alert, the, the, the menu, and the second one um, will log you into the template. So one frame, two regions, one edit. Now, hey, Max, I have a... Yeah. I have a question, and maybe it's my ignorance or not being up to date, but mm -hmm. you're able to press that C on that page before at any point? Right. So, <laughs> my drive, Google drive, Google. so when I tested this the first time. You used to have to use time, a pass-through key. Um, yeah, so Alert, when I did this the first time, uh, hmm, how do I explain it? So I'll F5. refresh the page. Um, so it'll be as if I hadn't Loading. changed anything yet. So if I just Table, column six, let it load, 50% um, of the time it works, 50% of the time it doesn't. So I'm hoping it doesn't work this Alert, time. Stephanie, C, out of table. Okay, it worked this Folder. time. Unlucky. Escape. But Even usually, menu. when it doesn't work, uh, I like to shift tab, just shift tab, tab or tab, tab a couple tab, times my... to get somewhere, and then C, context menu, use the C folder. button, and then just navigate down. Um, but Google if you find, like I did earlier, that it doesn't do it, and you just hear C, and it says something completely unrelated to what is happening on this screen. Um, I would encourage you to tab a couple times. I do two or three, and then just kind of go from there, press C again, and if it opens, that's great. If it doesn't, um, you can always reload the page with F5 and um, try again. Um, so it was it Enter. worked Enter. for me this time, which is great, but mm -hmm. also I didn't really get to demonstrate what happens when it doesn't work. Um, so maybe we'll come back to that later. Enter. So then, cool. So then I enter into a new document. Leaving menus, untitled doc. Um, so once you're here, um, blank frame. you can have your student do whatever it is that you know you, you are assigning for the day. We'll just, oh, space. Whoop. Escape. Document content edit. Cool. Unlabeled zero button. Document content edit. Enter. Document content edit. Okay. So first thing was I was typing F a bunch of stuff, um, and it opened up a menu. Um, and that was because um, it wasn't actively editing. So I pressed Selected. space the E button until I heard um, whatever it is I heard. It was something like document edit field. And then I hit enter, and now I'm able to F, F. Select space. alter the document. Um, so I think one of the most important things for students to learn is the uh, to get to the file manager menu. Um, and to do that, you would do your Alt and Shift and F, Alt, all Shift, at F the menu, same time. Five, and then that um, allows you to get to share, share if you want the student to share it with you. Um, if you're done with this document for whatever Blend. reason, Blend. you can do another one, um, open, and all of the other options. Um, and so what's really cool is if you uh, notice there are options here, or I'm sorry, there are, yeah, we'll just stick with options that have um, underlined letters. Um, and so those allow you to navigate with just first letters. So if I wanted to rename the document, um, I see Halfway through the screen, Make, rename R nine seventeen. Rename R. So I'm just going to hit R. R. Leaving menus, untitled document. Rename edit. Unti and then that'll allow me to rename the document. Um, that way, once it ends up in my drive or in my docs, um, I will know that it is a very specific T document named demo. Space. And then the one, one, dash, three, enter, Instead demo. of having oh, hundreds of different untitled documents, um, so I, I would encourage people to teach your students that first. Um, and then from that, you also have Alt Shift F menu has pop up. Has pop up. So once I did Alt Shift Final. F, I can also just use my arrow keys to get through Edit, has pop up. View, has pop up. Insert, has... Format, Tools. Um, Escape. So leaving menus. And then now, now we're gonna get to just regular shortcuts that also work in Word if you want to bold something. Control B, A D, A D, S A R S N. It's selected. Control and B. Blank. Leaving um, I also just like to use the shift modifier because in Google Docs, that typically tends to be the um, added key that is different from uh, Microsoft Word. Control B. So if you want to italicize Control something, a -D -A -D the same thing. Select space. Um, so you Control have underline. A -D -A -D. So blank menu, leaving menu. Control U. So Control U for underline, Control space. I for italicize, and Control B blank. for bold. Um, and then another topic I wanted to touch on. Um, also, I do have a question. Am I going too fast? I feel like I'm having fun with it, but I don't know if this is a little quick. 
Maybe stop for questions and see. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think this would be yeah a fine place to, to stop for questions as far as like what we've covered so far. Alert from Jessica Compass TV I to every. Maybe Context you're alert. Ellie Berkeley. You loud? Oh, hey Max, you're, this is yeah. May. Mm -hmm. Are all the May? shortcuts that you mentioned on a handout somewhere? I want to say yes. I'm going to defer to Mr. Amandi and Mr. Scott Jafford for that one. Okay. Sure, blame us. Context <laughs> <laughs> menu. We have the. Uh, I can put a. I'll put a link to the. Uh, the JAWS commands in the chat. Um, and I probably, let me dig up the, uh, the Google Docs command. I have the link, I'll put it in the chat. It's going to be a folder to all of our JAWS with Google Sheets. And inside you that, go. you will find several worksheets relating to Google Documents. Alert from the north to everyone. Max, I think you got to do a little bit louder. We do have a. Uh, or and and maybe just be conscious that you have team members in this discussion that are listening only sure. and not really following along. Forty nine percent, fifty percent. How's that? That sounds good. Cool. Hello. Alert from Vanessa. Are you going to uh, cover the drive again and navigating in the drive? Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I do have one more activity with a doc Alert um, from before I go back to the drive. Um, because in that, I, I kind of have an example of, a, of an assignment that I had with the student to get them more familiar with using the shortcuts and the features that uh, Google Docs has. So alt -tab, I do have volume, that. Speaker, alt -tab, meeting control, alt -tab, alt -tab, star on title, yeah. notepad, star on type, copied. Alert from alt tab, demo 113, Google Docs, Google Chrome, demo 1, control T, pasted, HTTPS slash enter, address and search bar, docs.google.com slash document slash D slash 1YK3P5GDJVPIP6MNJD9JN. To enable screen reader support, press Control plus Alt plus Z to learn about keyboard shortcuts. Ah, uh, yes. So because I'm in a different account, I won't be able to. But that doesn't matter. Um, we can kind of just go through and talk about what would happen. Um, so this is a document that I have called Docs with No Mouse um, that I did with a student. Um, and I made Alert, purposeful on mistakes CSP, like on this document because I wanted the student to um, listen to the assignment as well as read it with their refreshable Braille display. So they would have to go through this and find words with letters that are incorrect and uh, have to use their Braille display to get to the right word or the wrong word, um, put their cursor in the right place, and then fix it. So um, if you find spelling mistakes, that's, that's why. Um, but I also went through and I was talking about other things that you can do. Um, so making a numbered list would be Control and Shift and 7. Leaving menus. So let's say that I wanted to do Control and Shift and 7. Control okay. Shift 7. So I have a number one, um, and let's say I was just making a list of uh, states. Oh, that's a bad one. I don't know many states. A -L -I -L -R -I -A. And then if you're finished with your first one, enter. enter will capitalize the first word, and it'll just keep going down the list. Um, and another really cool thing is if you have like a subset of something that you wanted to say about California, using tab. the tab key uh, creates sub headings. We'll just call those subheadings. Um, so you can say Jose and then if you wanted to keep enter. adding on to that you just tab again and then you have etc 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 and then if you wanted to go back then you just con uh, shift, shift the tab. So then you have another city that you can state. And Enter, then shift if tab. you shift tab again, now we're in a different state. Let's say oh, Oregon. Um, and then you can just keep doing that all over again. So really cool for organization, um, especially with students. Um, and not just with students, with yourself also, if you wanted to um, kind of make your workflow a little more efficient. And oh, yes, I also wanted to talk about um, accessibility. Uh, so because our students typically um, receive documents that aren't fully accessible, they have to listen or read through the entire document to find um, one specific piece of information. So it's really imperative for students to have easy, easier ways to navigate through documents. Enter. 
So <laughs> one way you might do that is by using the format. Um, so we'll do Alt Shift F. Alt Shift F. Menu. Pass pop. And then F. go over Pass pop. to Pass pop. format. format. Um, and then you want to go down to Pass pop. paragraph styles. So Title. for a visually impaired person that's using a screen reader, um, it's really, really important that, like I said, they be able to navigate a document efficiently. Um, so it's up to the person that's creating whatever kind of document to um, make it accessible. So if we wanted to make it easier for problem. people, um, we would apply titles and apply headings. And this also has a shortcut that offhand, I can't remember, but I think it's control alt and then a number. So Enter. we'll say Moving that menu. this is Ray, T, e, the menu. title. Enter. Menu. And we want alt control one, D. Enter. Alt control two, D. Okay, perfect. So it's alt and control for heading levels. Um, so then this would be like C H A T E -E -E R chapter one. one, and then you have like a subsection -E -E of chapter one. one. Enter. And then um, if you have text in between these things, once this gets saved as a Word doc or whatever uh, file format that it gets saved as, um, a person using a screen reader will be able to go through this and not have to go through every individual line or page to find, um, let's say they're looking for chapter nine. Um, you're just going to be using um, navigation by headings to get to that, which is really, really cool. Um, so I encourage people to, um, if they're not already making materials in this way, to definitely start. Um, I know how to do that in JAWS, how to jump headings in a Google Doc? Oh, yeah. So to navigate uh, using headings with JAWS is the H key. Um, so H is going to take you through um, headings. How do you could... do that in the Google Doc itself and in, in opposed to editing and typing in H? So you would either want to go to the edit view for the, or not the edit view, the just view only, or um, once it's already a document. Control shift F. Whoops. Control shift F. <laughs> Not entirely. Oh, that's Alt why. Context menu. Um, yeah, so Email once it's submenu. already a doc, um, you could do that. Land, the other 7, way 6 of is a great question. The other way, let's find out. Move the trash. Publish to the web enter. What File, one of eight. Leave in menus. No, Escape. Frame. that's not what we want. That is what a great question. I'm not sure if I have an answer for that. And maybe Step. somebody on our call has an answer to that. I saw Keith Christian in there. Keith, have you ever done this? And um, in Word, it's called navigation quick keys. And you do a keyboard shortcut, and then you can use H for heading and L for lists, all those type things. Um, I'm wondering if that little doohickey on the left that opens up the heading menu, I don't know what that's called, if that would give you access to navigating through the, through the headings. Enter. Leaving menus. Something like outline view. Uh, yeah. Menu. Let's see. Leaving menus, demo one one three Google Docs, Google Chrome Incognito, context menu, print layout, key check, one, modem sub menu, two of seven. So yeah, I went to view mode, mode which I thought might modem. be a way to do it. Let me leaving menus Con look. Demo one one three Google Docs Google. I mean, menus. Be I was hoping somebody uh would all have good, all good. Tried this. Let's see. Oh my, control all page. Control all meeting. Escape, right. leaving menu. Alt control up. Alt, alt control H. Document content edit. Hmm. No, I am. Um, there must be, but I don't know it. So there, if you... this is Manda. Yeah. Sorry. So if your accessibility is on, you can move through headings. Um, and if you go up to the um, file, you we can we can look at it too. So the accessibility heading in the um, toolbar right next to help. Shift the context menu. Then it go down to headings. Heading eight. And it has your your move to next heading there, so it's Control uh, Alt plus uh, N, Control Alt plus H to go uh, next or previous. Cool. So sometimes if I get stuck and don't know how to do it with the accessibility file on, I look there and it it is like a little helpful cheat sheet. Yeah, super cool. Thank you. That is essentially navigation quick keys yeah. in a bundle with all those different things in there. Oh, see. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Tab. First line of document content edit. Enter. Move yeah. to next misspelling. These kids are going to be cheating and just jumping around without <laughs> spell check. 
Wow, I kind of want to try that. What? Oh, I guess I would have to be out of it, wouldn't I? Shift tab, tab, land, tab. Alt control P, alt control H. Alt shift the context menu, speak as sub menu, footnote ends up, move the next heading and control plus enter. Leaving menus, frame, land frame, title, title. No headings. Alt shift control, P, control, alt, oh, no, control P. Hmm. Enter, land frame. I'll figure it out later on my own. <laughs> but that seems super fun. Alert, ignore us, join. Cool. Demo docs, no mouse. All right, and then, right, so then I went through sub lists. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Um, oh, and this lesson was specific to a Chromebook with that student. So all of the uh, refresher stuff uh, there is just for the students who remember how to get to the address bar, how to undo. And these are all other shortcuts. So address bar, like I said earlier, is alt and D. If you wanted to go to a different website, undo is your content frame. control undo, frame, 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 undo. Your, right, whoops, address and your read, uh, reader skip by letter is just your left and right arrows once you're in a document or um, a web page or reading anything. Um, reading by word is edit, content, space, enter. There you go. So it's control and left and right arrow. And Man. then My drive address lastly, address. Um, reading or skipping by line is up and down arrow. And then um, Opening an app on a Windows computer is just your Windows search key and typing in whatever it is that Address you want to bar. open. And then closing a, an app or, yeah. So closing an oh, app is always address. going to be Alt and F4. But if you are um, using a browser like this and you have a million different tabs like I do, um, one really cool thing that closes tabs and not entire programs, Go to drive link. let's say I don't want this anymore, is Control and close. F4. Button, so that will close one tab by itself and not the entire program. Hello. Demo one one three Google. Space space. Let's see what else do I have for you all. Let me check my notes. Intro dot docs word pre alert from Vanessa Ernst and Low Vision. While he's looking at that, you guys, if you could take a moment, we're trying to uh, we're trying to pay a little bit of attention to our own analytics for the things that we do, so that we can create a stronger oh, argument to Sacramento for funding for our programs. Um, and one of them is to try to see who is attending our session. So if you guys could rename yourselves with your title and um, and potentially school district, that'd be helpful too. But at least your uh, first name, last name, title. So, uh, you know, TBI, O&M, Para, Braillist, what, what you might. And if you'd like to put your school district, that would help too. And that will help our general stats collection. Okay, so now I'm back in Drive. And um, so remember how I said earlier that this is what happens during your very first time logging into Drive on a fresh account, on a fresh computer, fresh browser, whatever it is. Um, it's really nice uh, personally to have everything in a list view as opposed to having the uh, visible squares, uh, just because it's easier to navigate for me. And, um, and I'm sure it's easier on uh, our students to have visual impairments to just have to use up and down arrows instead of doing side to side to get to Context and from menu. things. Escape. So I like to navigate through uh, here using B. Uh, so B for button uh, using JAWS. B. B. Tab my drive button menu B. B. If it would work. That's okay. If it doesn't work, select the button. Insert and control in B um, also brings up all of your buttons. So I am looking Leaving for settings, list view. So I'm just going to put or um, type L uh, list view button. for list view button, and then is it Alt and O? Alt O. Toolbar read only list view button. Enter. Cool. So Change Alt and O, and then one, enter. Row one. Row one. Um, so Alt and O was just so that the um, cursor Alert would go automatically to the um, OK button. Um, so now I have everything in a list view, uh, which is super useful because if F5. I just got to the site, like I just logged in, okay. and Alert. this is the first thing I see. To everyone. Thank um, you for doing these trainings. They are very helpful. I, have to... I just do up and down arrow, and then I can go through and listen to all of the doc names um, so that if I had just Alert. edited Alert. assignment two, I could just get to assignment two, um, press enter, and it would open up. Um, I haven't seen this document since 2014, so I'm not going to open it. 
but um, yeah, so that would open up your document. And then just regular navigation through Drive um, is accomplished through a couple different things. So you can use the uh, buttons menu, which was the insert control no and buttons. D, of course. Tab out of table, site panel, no buttons. Calendar tab panel, <laughs> Google Chrome version 86. Let me, I'm gonna cheat Calendar for a second. Um, right, so insert control and V should open up your buttons menu. Um, and this is great, this is actually great because Loading. if you have trouble um, and the computer table isn't column. doing what you want it to do, um, there are ways to circumvent that. Um, so I refresh the page with F5, and now I'm going to see if the buttons menu will open this time. Control B. Land. Control B. Why is insert not working? Control B. Oh well, it doesn't matter. B. I have I have really I must say I really have enjoyed this Max because not only are you Control illustrating B. problems that our kids have, but us getting to watch you with Jaws on during a Zoom meeting has been interesting too, um, <laughs> and the amount of extra that comes in. Um, and things we might want to think about for our kids and, and not announcing ins and outs and changes in names and all those type things are important things for us to consider too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Vanessa so, says you, she thinks you can do an insert F5 or insert F6 and it pulls up a whole elements list if you forget how to pull up the buttons list or links list. Yeah, so it actually, it would pull up a list of all the different lists of elements. Oh, um, Perfect. It would pull up all the different things that you could find with JAWS that are labeled. Thank you. And uh, upon further inspection, I was hitting the delete key and not the insert key. So that might explain another, you know, might be another reason why no it buttons. wasn't working. Calendar tab. Select a button dialog. Listen. Okay, so the first time it told me no buttons, and then I did it again and it opened up. So sometimes you just got to brute force it. Um, another way I like to do it, if I didn't know what Ms. Herndon shared with us would be, um, once I refresh the page, would be just to tab through. Um, so I said earlier that I like to just tab through a couple times and then see if table, something changes. So I'm going to cheat again to close that. Out of table. OK, and then tab, go tab, tab. so I tab a few menu. times, and then insert it in Land. control, and Select the button dialog. So Listen this time it worked, which is awesome. Um, and another, another thing that happens often is um, oftentimes a, compu a home computer um, might have multiple accounts logged in, and you don't want um, this account. Google account. The, um, it might be a parent or a brother or a sister account. So you can uh, change the account by finding the Google account button um, using the list, uh, the buttons list menu, or just by pressing B, um, as mentioned earlier. Enter. Banner region. Google account. Movendum, 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 so button. it will say Google account, and then you enter. Gonna enter. And then just tab, tab through. Account, tab, J tab, manage tab, add another account link. Um, I like to just go to add another Enter. account. Google Drive, Google Chrome. And then sign in Email as a account. completely different one. Do I have another one that I can share? I think so. F E T A N at G A I L P R C O M. Enter. Email or phone. Enter your path. Stop. Stop. Enter. Hi, Maximo. Google Alert. Stephanie Early entered the waiting room. Loading. Okay, cool. So Table, column one, row. same thing. So this one I have set alert. up uh, already with the list view. So I just Table, up and down alert. arrow. Um, and another thing I wanted to share was uh, with folders. Um, so folders are a great way to keep your students organized. And they're not that hard to get documents into and to name and all that stuff. So um, shift tab, so shift -tab one time for just to see if it helps. See. Cool. Context menu, menu and then folder. the C button, and then I'm just going to create a folder. Enter, leaving menus, new button alert. Suze, P, O, F, O, D, R, enter, new button menu, table, column 65535, row cool. 65535, main region. Alert, Susan. Whoops. Escape. My drive. Oh, I just realized this keyboard doesn't have an applications menu key, which is good, because now I need F to figure out. Oh, man. F10, Chrome button menu, customize and... There's a way to do it. Shift F10. Oh, Shift F10? Shift F10. Yeah. Not working? New window control plus N. So that opened up. Escape, leaving menus. Something else. Context menu. Escape, leaving menus. Context escape, yeah. leaving menus. My drive, Google Drive, Google Chrome, and R. R. Well. Tab, back button menu. Press to go back. Contab, reload tab. Tab, 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 zoom. Tab, 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 reload tab, 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 zoom. 110. Interesting. E. Well. F5. Demo F folder, Google Drive folder. All else fails. Modified by me. 402 PMM dash. Row selected. Loading. Link drive. Search and drive table. Right. Cool. 
What are you trying to do, man? The nice thing about refreshing is just you get a nice, fresh, new, clean slate. Mm -hmm. Chrome button menu, customize and control Google Chrome. Shift tab, incognito button menu, you're incognito. Right. Shift tab, bookmark this tab, tab, back button menu. Review sign, address and search bar, H tab. Escape, tab, A is escape, tab, zoom, 110% but tab, bookmark this tab button, tab, incognito tab, chrome but tab, back button, tab, reload button, reload this page. Tab, view site information button menu, secure. I wonder. Feature only available in virtual. Interesting. So, if tab, I get tab, 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 address and search bar. Wow. So if I get here, how do I get out? I don't think I've had this problem before, where when I'm trying to tab through to get to um, the first element on this web page, it just takes me back to address bar. Shift tab, shift tab, shift you hit tab, enter, you said refresh in the address bar, right? My drive, Google Drive, demo FOLT, enter. No Makes files in this me. folder. Press C, use the new button or drag and drop to add files to this folder. Button, folder, Google Drive, demo folder, Google shift tab, main region. No files in this folder. Press C, use oh, the new yes. button or shift tab. My drive trash has changed this mis shift tab. Learn more link. Shift tab, buy storage link. Shift tab, store oh, tab, okay. tab, main region. My drive. The theory is series of tabs will eventually get you out, but because you can change that bookmarks bar and depending on your browser, it could be different. Your kid would have to memorize what the antecedent to the body is, which is hard. Heading level two folders and views. Navigation region, toolbar end. View details toggle button. Grid view button. Toolbar with two buttons. Oh, okay. I know Alert. where Christian has left the meeting. Tab. Toolbar read only. Grid view button. Yeah. Tab. View tab. Navigation region. Folders and views. Tree view. Alert. Heath Crit. Enter. My drive. Google drive. Google Chrome incognito. Loading. Loading tab. Table. Column. Cool. So let's try that. Enter. Enter. Alert. Diane Machendra's TV. So once I get here. So what I'm trying Alert, to get it to do all selections is menu, menu, loading, menu, menu, loading at. Um, so what you do with the mouse is you do a right click all selections, um, menu, with menu, a menu. standard computer keyboard. Um, you usually have an applications menu key on the right side under the shift key. Um, so I'm trying to figure out how I would do that without the applications menu key. And I wonder, let's see. F10, Chrome button menu, customize and control Google Chrome. Yeah, so that doesn't do it. Shift F10. That doesn't do it. Shift F10. Demo folder Google well, Drive. I'm just going to assume that um, <laughs> the keyboards have a, an application to menu key. And so once you're in the folder, um, same as before, this is the same menu that is, oh, duh. That's okay, how you get it. Yeah, just get C. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm just overcomplicating things. Yeah. So they would be the C, and then it would open up the menu, and you would create a new document in that folder. Um, and I do believe that is Alert, all I map. have for you today as far as a presentation. Um, I'm glad Alert, that the, it didn't go perfectly because um, it's just the nature of technology. It's not always going to be 100% replicable. Um, there will be issues that you will have to troubleshoot and your students will get frustrated. Um, and so that it's important to know that um, Alert, refresh Alert, and tab and um, knowing shortcuts is going to be the best way for your students to circumvent these issues. Um, yeah, that is all I have for you today. And I am open to questions, criticisms, uh, compliments are very appreciated. I really appreciated it. I like that you started off for people who joined later. One of your earliest comments was that this, the things you covered in Google Docs are almost completely the same as or very similar to Microsoft Word. And so we really are preparing our students for any system, which is a positive um, a positive thing. And sometimes mm -hmm. Google's just easier to use when the whole school is using it already. Oh, actually, there is one more thing I have. Um, so I did this entire like talk about how you would open a Google Doc. Um, there's a much easier way to open up a new Google Doc. Um, and it is simply, you have a new tab, and then you're just going to type docs period new. And that exact same process will get you to a blank Google document. Um, the only caveat with that is it will, it will create that document on whatever the main Google account on that computer is. Um, but if you don't want to go through all these steps or you have students um, that struggle with multiple steps. Uh, Docs.new is far and beyond like the easiest possible way to create a Google document. Alert from Schindler, Lord.
Yeah. Now yeah. that is all I have for you today. You have a couple comments and a question. Sure. Um, Lori says, knowing the Alt Shift F to get to the file menu instead of just Alt F is great. Mm -hmm. So adding in that shift to get to the menus. Yeah. And then Kelly Burma asks, what do you feel is the most preferred forms mode setting in JAWS for using any Google app such as Docs? Auto, semi-auto, or manual? I always use auto when automatic when I'm playing auto. Mario Kart. Yeah. I that way it's automatically gonna pop into and you hear the the pop, right? That and that's what you want to teach your kids is they're listening for that pop. It's in forms mode. Oh, they've left, it popped. It has that little uh, second. I would Kelly, is there have you found going away from the norm? better for a certain reason in Google because auto is the standard, right? And people who don't know what we're talking about here, this is the, when you enter a form, a region that you can manipulate, whether it's a search string that you can type into or a checkbox that you can check, something that you can interact with. JAWS for the last 10 years or so makes a bloop sound to let you know that you go into it. There is a way to turn that off and to hit spacebar or something to, to tell it I want to type. I would actually, uh, so I would actually argue that if a student needs to feel like they have control over it, that would probably be the best way to handle it. And if they, if that way they're aware of it, of it, because some of them might not cue into the pop. Yeah. So you would set it to manual. Yes. Yes, I would set it to manual. The problem with that is they have to really be keeping track of where they are. I see more advanced users you turning off forms mode because they know where they're going. They're they're navigating there and then you know they put it in forms mode when they want. Um, theoretically, there's there's a few more presses, right? So as you're going through, you're popping into forms mode and then you're popping out um, as you move through, like say a form with with multiple text fields. Um, as you move, you're popping in and popping out, popping in and popping out. I like those sounds, especially in the beginning, because the, then you can say, did you hear that? What was that? Here, let's go back and then come back into this and hear it again, right? So you're talking about um, what are you hearing and what does that mean? And then later on, it's up to the user, I would think. I yeah. think so too, but I think if you're learning to teach a student what the Google Docs screen looks like, and it's constantly popping in and out, that could be that could make things a little more. Although that could be useful at first, but then you know, if they feel like they want the control over it later, I, I was just I, I was only curious because I tend to use manual myself, and I and I'm not and I'm not having the best experience. So I was so I was curious. Well, if you look at the screen right now, there's only two text fields. There's the document. And then there's the address bar, right? There, there aren't any other text fields. So, the, and it's only going to be a text field where it goes into forms mode. As the address bar isn't even a form field. Yeah, but I think it pops if you do if you pop document up to the right at the top. Rename document. No, it doesn't edit. generally pop. Okay. Anyway, it's, uh, it's you know it's. Yeah. If that's what no, I think what I'm hearing is we need to be super conscious of transforming our kids into power users, right? We need to have these dialogues and know that the default settings of JAWS don't necessarily transfer to a power user down the road who controls their own environment. Um, I really appreciate that. Lori Schindler asked, what's the advantage of using incognito mode? Oh. There, there's no advantage. Um, it was just so that I had a fresh web page to simulate like the very first time that uh, you are logging into uh, the drive. Um, because if you've done it before, um, it'll take you to a different page than the very first time. The very first time it took me to the, like the welcome screen that Google gives you. Um, and you just have to navigate through it to get to um, drive.google.com. Um, so really, there, there's no benefit. It, it was just for demonstration purposes. Or if you've made a home page where you're, you're, you're automatically go to a certain website, you know, your favorite sports, whatever, whatever it is, you can get a blank 
a, a blank uh, web browser. Mm -hmm. And I just realized there's one other thing that I forgot. Um, if you have a student that's using a Braille display, um, you definitely want to um, enable Braille support. And the way you would do that is Alt period. Whoops, Alt and Alt slash slash menu pop um, is going to open the help menu. And then I just like -I -I -L 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 Braille, support, and then enter. enable Braille menu support. Framed. And that will make it so that um, the Braille display can interact with the text on this web page. How about browsers, Max? What's, what's the, uh, what, what browser are we using? Oh, I'm using Chrome for this demonstration. I prefer Chrome currently because um, in testing, oh, Firefox crashed a few times on me. Um, so as of now, uh, Chrome, um, maybe if you asked me a year ago, it would have been Firefox. It just is constantly changing. They can both have problems. So it, we usually get both on a computer so that a student can switch to, uh, if something starts happening. If you're going to use Firefox, when you download it, make sure you search for Firefox ESR. It's a extended service release. Um, and then don't update it. The problem always happens with Firefox is the updates and they change something and then something quits working. With ESR, it keeps a nice stable um, browser that may in the end break and start having problems, but they, they uh, update it much less frequently, but they keep it you, so that it's it stripped down. It's work. It just works. Lori asked if you could repeat the um, enable Braille support. You went to the help menu with a keystroke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, put it in the chat. So it would be alt and the forward right. slash um, would open up the help menu. And then I just type in Braille. And then once I either hear it or see it, um, I just press enter. And then it just brings you back to the edit field within the document. Is anybody out, out there having troubles with Google Docs or having uh, issues with students using the Drive Suite, Google Suite? or a success story they want to share? No horror know. stories? It means everything's going perfect out in Google land. Everybody like Google Docs as much or more than Microsoft Office? Oh, I see Sarah Blair. I don't have Office. Notes. Also, hi, Sarah. Hi, Max. Great job. Thank you. It means a lot. Oh, don't be nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, sir, um, if we don't have dialogue, we saw the tech specialist from New Mexico joined us today. Ooh. Do you guys have any resources that we should add to this uh, file for people? Sorry, can you repeat that? I was going through the chat. Our, uh, our, I, I was wondering if New Mexico had any resources. Their tech team joined us today. I love that Holly Bird said, no, Microsoft is better. Isn't it better? It's like at least a thousand times better, right? Um, and I'm not talking about 365 online, <laughs> just regular old downloadable Microsoft Word, PowerPoint sheet, the slides. I can't even remember what it's called anymore, Excel. <laughs> um, so much friendlier to accessibility, so consistent. They are working on it though. Man, the progress in the last few years. Um, yes, Max, could you go over blink document? You mean blank document? Um, yeah. yeah, so so the question was it like how do you get to a blank document, like the easiest way possible or or like what options you have within the blank document? To both. OK, so yeah, so the easiest way um, without going through all of the extra steps, if a student either is um, not confident or you are just in a rush for whatever reason, is uh, docs period new um, into your web browser. And it will open up uh, Google Docs um, on whatever account is currently signed in or whatever account is the main account in on that browser or computer. Um, and then for editing it, um, so Control and Shift and F 
is your best friend because it takes you to the main menu where you can do all the other stuff. Otherwise, you would press the C to go to that new button and create a new doc that way. Mm -hmm. you had um, we also though, address best practices because that is an easy way to open like a fresh new document, but how do you find that later? So mm -hmm. navigating, I would recommend navigating to the folder first and opening it and then pressing C to create a new document. Um, or if C is not working, sometimes the Google commands like C doesn't work. I don't know why, but you can always press the application key and then that will take, that will open up your, um, a list of, of options that you can do in that page and, and you can create a new document that way. We were saving money on Max's computer, so we didn't get him an application key. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I just have it. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look for um, a shortcut. Uh, Command F12, if you don't have an application key. What is the other one? Shift F10. Going? Shift F10. Yeah. I tried Shift F10, and it, and it didn't do what I wanted it to do. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play around with it personally, um, just because I like to do that. Um, but yeah, to, to answer or rather to comment on, on your comment on best practices, I, I'm absolutely uh, in agreement. Um, I did, I did uh, go through the process on how to do it uh, the first time. Um, but yeah, so if, if I'm feeling lazy, I will just do docs.new. Um, but I do agree with you that knowing the layout of a web page or uh, drive specifically is, is very important. When you guys say New Mexico is using Microsoft, do you mean 365.com or Office? Oh, they, it's, it's too far for Mexico to turn their microphone on. Fatima! Sorry, Adrian, I'm having issues here. <laughs> <laughs> are you guys using 365? Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. Wow, is that fun? No. That sounds horrible. <laughs> Even as um, a sighted person, it's no fun. Yeah, I think we're just uh, we're working through it right now because it's it's kind of new for us using using that at the moment. But um, got it. Um, it, I tell you that Microsoft Teams sure has some neat supports that Google Meet and Chrome and this Zoom does not. But um, yeah, we yeah. are. Um, most of the school, I believe, is using Microsoft Teams, but um, we in Outreach are using Zoom right now um, with our students throughout um, the state or for other um, video conferencing. Yeah. I think that I think we found through Outreach the majority of California is using Google. Um, and there's certainly a few Microsoft spots here and there out there, and there's a couple otherwise as well that are still still not using an online platform or doing something different, but almost everybody's Google anymore. Oh, that's interesting. Did you see Laurie's question, Max? Uh, let me see. Pop up windows. What do you what do you do? Oh yeah, you know what? Miss Nanako taught me a really cool trick for that kind of stuff. Um, I think she taught me Alt and O when you have um a pop up that is unrelated to the web to the web page. Um, I wonder if she's here today. Are you here today, Miss Nanako? I think she's with us in here. So Alt O will take you to a pop up, like a some like a Outlook or a. Uh, your computer's low on battery or something like that. Yeah, let me test. Well, I guess I can't test it. I turned off JAWS. But yeah, I do believe Alt and O if you have a pop-up menu like that. Um, but I will get Can back I to you if that doesn't work. Yes. something about pop-up menus? So there's like pop-up menus that come up that are like ads or something like that. That's not what you're going to use Alt O for. Alt O are for pop-up menus that are um, that you need to interact with like the two that i can think of where alt o is applicable is when you save a password and it says save password yes no so alt o would get you into that and then you arrow to yes or arrow to no and then also if you download something 
and you visually you would see a bar at the bottom of your screen and it would allow you to open or save after downloading that also you could get to with alt o but if a pop-up just happens on your screen typically your jaws cursor goes straight to it and you wouldn't have to press alt o you would just press escape to get out of it Holy smokes. So, Vanessa, we paid to be a technology teacher for a couple of years. Max, how did you do this? How did you learn this stuff? Because all these people in here, I've worked with a lot of them over the years, and they all took super good notes, I'm sure, right now. And they're going to go back, and they're going to struggle, and they're going to run into a problem. How, can you tell us a little bit about your process in being a teacher and getting comfortable with tech? Um, yeah, I think, I think bottom line, it's because I'm lazy. Um, <laughs> And it's the simplest answer I can give because I don't want to waste time looking for something. Um, so I, I do also have, um, it's, I wouldn't call it a visual impairment per se, but I do have uh, problems with my vision. So oftentimes, like I will lose the mouse. Um, and so instead of looking for my mouse visually, um, it's just much easier for me to um, use what I've learned. Um, so as far as like how I learned it through practice, um, through learning from other people, learning from my students that were already tech savvy or other students that were just wizards with, uh, with technology um, and the program at the San Francisco State University. Um, yeah, so yeah, just because I'm lazy, experienced and other people are awesome and patient. Um, and anybody could do it, it it's just, practice and forcing yourself not to use the mouse. Um, that's all I can really say. Just don't use your mouse. Yeah, no, I definitely heard you say out loud that that one week tech class at San Francisco State taught you everything you know. Oh yeah, um, that one week class, yeah. One hell of a teacher. Yeah. Um, uh -huh. The, I, I mean, what I, what I see you doing and what I advise everybody else on this call doing is that you have your own distinct computer that you try things on and you practice on and uh, everybody on this call, if you, you know, so you don't want to drop 1200 bucks or 1400 bucks for your own copy of JAWS, nor does your district, uh, use the, use 40 minute mode. Um, it'll teach you to be, do a better job cleaning up your desktop and your tabs and everything else anyway. Um, uh, use NVDA, use, um, if you have a Mac, use voiceover, uh, get used to using a screen reader, um, and just try it from time to time. Think about prepping for your lesson. I'm going to ask a student to do this. Am I going to run into problems? Max is constantly talking about little, little squeaky problems that frustrate the heck out of kids, but they're tiny little things. And if you don't try it, you won't find them. You're awesome, man. I think we are wrapping it up if there's no further questions. Sounds good.